I am going to demonstrate how to add a frame or a border to a photograph or an image using Pixelmator on an iPad Pro. This is the 10 and a half inch iPad Pro. So I'm going to open Pixelmator and the image that I have is actually quite small and so I'm going to add several borders to it. So I actually I'm going to first go and look at my image and using this app called ViewXF, which you see down at the bottom here, I'm going to look at the size of my image and then I'm going to create something that's a little bit bigger in order to put the borders on it. So the dimensions of my image are 700 by 494. Really small, it's only 78 kilobytes. So 700 by 494. So now, I think I'll copy it right away too. And that will just make it faster to paste into Pixelmator. So 700 by 494. So now I open Pixelmator and tap on the plus and tap create image and then go with custom. And I'm going to do 700 by 494 first. So that is what the dimensions of my actual image are. But I'm going to put some really big borders on it. So I want to add, I think, 600 pixels. And so 600 plus 700 is 1300. So if I change the width to 1300, then the height should automatically change for me, but maybe it won't. Nope, it didn't. That's weird. Usually it does. Okay, so I, what did I add? 600. So then this one should be 1,094. Does that look right? Well, we will find out. Okay, so then I tap on the word create. Then, because I already copied my image into the clipboard, I can just tap in the middle until the word paste comes up and paste it in. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, so as you can see, I already have a white border, but I want to have a colored one. See how on the right hand side the image shifted away from the edge and now I have that little gray bar? I'm going to tap undo to make it go back to the correct position. Whenever you paste something into Pixelmator, it centers it perfectly. So I'm going to try and keep that centering without messing it up too much for the duration. You can see on the outside borders that there are the select circles. That means that my white box is selected right now. I'm going to go in to the style settings which is using the paintbrush icon and use format and then fill and I'm going to fill it with a different color and the article that I'm putting this all in has a lot of golds and reds not a lot of blues so I'm not going to do blue so and I can do it fill it with either a solid color if you see up at the top there's color or gradient and uh, Pixelmator gives you some gradients to begin with but then I've created some of my own gradients too so if you look down here I have two little sections of gradients I'm gonna look and see if I see anything that looks really great okay I've got this pretty busy one but it's good colors so I'm gonna try that and see how it looks hmm what do you think? Might be a little too much. So if I tap the paintbrush format and the little color box again, let's look at this one. That's not bad. I think I don't like the way it's oriented. So if I tap Format again, and then I tap Arrange, whoops, Format, and Arrange is already selected, and then I do Rotate and I turn it around. 
think I like that better, but I think I'm going to play with it a little bit. So if I go back to style, tap on the color box, I'm going to just try and add a little bit more um, to the gradients. So if you can see right now, there's four colors in this gradient. And I think maybe I will try and add, we'll put a box there. So if you just tap, it will add another box. And then I have to pick a color for that box. Let's see if I could even put gold in, how that would look. Yeah, that looks really, really muddy. Let's try blue. That looks kind of nice. So then I go back. I actually like that. And I just need to adjust the dimensions a little bit. I think that there should be one more red one in there. So I'm going to tap right in the middle and then tap that box again to get the colors back up. Drag this over to the reds. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Let's go with that and tap back. And then tap the little carrot. And actually, so let's just see if we like the proportions. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go with that. So this middle image, what I like to do is make it look like it's floating a little bit. So I like to add, I can actually add two things to it. I can add a border to it with the stroke and it's going to automatically put in a two pixel wide black border, but then I can change that to any color I want. I don't want red. I want it to stay with black. I just bumped that by accident. And then if I want it wider, I can just drag this line and let's see how something like that would look. Might look okay. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to add my shadow. I tap Format again, then I tap on Shadow, and then I drag Offset to the right, and I don't know if you can see, but that's adding a shadow on the bottom, and then I drag Angle to the right, and then that moves the shadow over to the right, and the way I like to do it is to have the shadow kind of 50-50 on the right and on the bottom, but it's way too dark. So then I use this blur, and I usually drag it pretty much all the way to the end to get it to kind of blend in so that it doesn't look like really garish. And then it just kind of makes the image pop out a little bit more. So I think that looks pretty good. I think that this should also have a black border around it. So I select it, tap format tap stroke and it will put the two pixel black one in and then I can drag it and make it wider. I actually think it should be even wider than that and that's as wide as it goes. The way that I could make it even wider is to add using the plus sign and then far on the right you see shapes. If I add this empty box it puts it right in the middle I'm going to, so I can find it more easily, I'm going to make it wider. And it doesn't, I'm not really seeing it getting wider. So that tells me that it is probably down underneath this image because everything is layered. So if I tap Arrange, this very top line shows you the order of the layers. I can also tap over here and you can see that my blank box is below the watches and if I want it above the watches I can do it two ways. I can either use this slider and just drag it there or I could over in this left hand corner I can drag the boxes too. You 
easier said than done. Okay, so then I drag this out to the edges. And that happens sometimes. And if that continues to happen, then if you dr drag a corner, that usually stops it. And I'm going to make that as wide as I can make it. Okay, that's looking better. That looks pretty even. Then I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and change the opacity and see if it looks better if it's lightened up a little bit. I kind of like that. So it's 81%. So I need to try and do the same thing to this outer one. If I go to 81% there, it kind of like disappears. So, looks like about 96 now. Yeah, that's going to be maybe hard to get them to have equal opacities. So I guess I can't really mess with that too much. The other thing you can do with it is under blending, you can try all these different blending modes. Uh, with what I'm doing, it's probably not going to be at really useful, but sometimes the blending modes can really give you some cool effects for things. But just like I suspected, there's not really a whole lot here that is going to help that so that's not going to really help so I'm just going to move it back to normal okay so I like actually the outer border but this still looks this looks a little thinner than this and this thing with it jumping like that I don't know what it's kind of like a little bit of a bug in Pixelmator right now. It shouldn't be so jumpy. Now oh, this left one needs to be in, in a little bit. Okay, that looks better. And now I think that the inside black border just does not look good. It's way too thick. So I'm trying to tap on it, but I can't. Now I just kind of messed with that, so I'm going to tap undo and put it back. So if I tap over here in my layers, I can select that. And then use the paintbrush and go back and make that thinner, because it just doesn't look good so thick like that. In fact, I don't even know if I really need it at all. Let's just do it at one pixel and see. I actually like that a lot. Okay, so I'm done. Then, see how it looks like there's space, more space on the left than on the right? I am going to tap over here again. Oops, undo. Tap this and try and get this centered a little bit better. That happens sometimes when you add shadows to things. It ends up looking a little bit off-center. that looks good. So I'm all done, so I'm going to export this to my camera roll. And I just do copy to photos. And then I'm going to go and check out the size. Here it is. And if I tap on the share icon and then view XF again, it is now 1300 by 1094 pixels because those are ones that I put in. 
Um, the file size is better. It's 126 kilobytes and it's all done. So that is a really quick and dirty demonstration of how to add a border or frame in Pixelmator.